how to install Ubuntu Linux on an HP Z4 G4. Monitor computer already plugged in, mouse and keyboard are as well. I have this installation USB running Ubuntu 2204. Uh, I find that running just behind the current release of Linux tends to be the most stable, uh, unless you're running Debian, which is like always going to be the most stable because there's literally nothing extra in it. So you're going to insert into a USB port. You're going to power on the machine, and at least on HP machines, it is the F9 key that I'm going to start spanning until I get the boot menu icon showing up on the monitor. And here we have boot menu down there in the corner. So then we'll wait for the next screen to come up. All right, then I'm gonna move this a little bit closer so you can see there are a bunch of options here, but I am going to be selecting this USB disc 2.0. There are a bunch of different options here for pixie booting and for going off the standard drive already in there. We are just going to select the USB key by hitting enter. And then after a moment, this install menu will show up. I'm gonna move this a bit closer again. And here we have the try or install Ubuntu. There are also a couple different versions you can put in there and I'm just going to pick that top one. Now we will see the HP standard logo with Ubuntu now, which tells us that it is starting the installation. All right, and then we will get to this startup menu. I'm going to select English. Uh, here you could hit try Ubuntu, which would then run the entire system in RAM until you turn off the machine, but I'm going to install Ubuntu. I'm going to select English, English, continue. And then I'm going to do the normal installation. You could do a minimal one. And then I'm also going to allow the install of third-party software and graphics and continue. Then it will ask for the installation type. You can dual boot this on a system, but I'm just going to erase the current disk and install Ubuntu. And then it will ask if you're sure, if you want to do all these right changes and the standard partitions that it will be formatting. Click continue. It'll have you select your time zone. I am in central standard time. It'll ask for a username. This is an option where you could join to an active directory if you have one of those. And then you just click continue. And then it will begin the installation of Ubuntu. And then you will get to this screen where it will ask you to restart now. At this point, it will ask you to remove the installation media and press enter on your keyboard. I will be doing a follow-up video on how to make these installation keys both for Linux and for Windows, so that'll be showing up on the channel in a bit. And there you have it, a brand new installation of Ubuntu 2204 Linux. And there we go, Linux as installed. I just need to connect this to network and pull down the software I'm going to use on this. This is actually going to be my recording PC for when I play Starfield here in the next couple days.